Hi, Abraham. I just want to thank you. I'm really enjoying the ride this afternoon and today, this morning. It's, it's an amazing journey that we're on. I'm on, and I think many of us are on. I got some things in my life. I want to know what they're about. I've been practicing your teachings for about 10 years. I'm a counselor. And the people that are coming to see me, I've been very happy. I'm becoming increasingly happy. And the people that are coming to see me they uh, and be with me, they're getting happier and richer. <laughs> and I'm just getting happy. Uh, Now, the second thing I want to know what it's about. Do you believe that you have desire to be getting more prosperous? That seems like a burden. So there you go. So what we were going to point out, you made it so easy. <laughs> what we were going to point out is that while you may have a desire for more prosperity you undoubtedly if it's not coming and coming easily you've got some thoughts that you're thinking that are counter to that like it's inappropriate or it's not spiritual or it's too much to maintain or it would clutter my life or it would step on my toes of freedom or all of those things you're right <laughs> and the second thing that I've noticed <laughs> is uh, I've been having this experience of my mind either going blank sometimes and I forget this 10 years of practice of your material or I'm thinking of infinity and when I think of infinity I just start feeling better and better and better and I don't know what that's about well a quieted mind puts you in the receptive mode we're so happy to say this to you you will hear it easily Communication from your inner being, from source, does not come in words. It comes in a vibration that you translate into words or sight or emotion or impulse. We just want you to pay a little attention as this is happening over the next days, that that feeling of blankness don't misunderstand and think because words aren't flowing that it's blankness focus on the emotion of it focus on the feeling of it because it's not absence of beingness it's just energy that's flowing to you that you can translate in feeling Esther remembers the first time she sat to meditate and she quieted her mind and they set the timer for 15 minutes and she said let's do it again and they set it for 15 minutes and she said let's do it again and she said let's do it again and during that 45 minutes she felt completely detached from her body well that was a communication she was sensing the energy of us and while she didn't have any framework in which to understand it she was getting ready to be ready for all of these words so just feel the satisfaction of what it is and don't try to make it more than what it is because you can't whatever it is is what it is and just let yourself enjoy it whatever it is as much as you can and then it will become more and more and more if you want it to and my last question of what it's about is you seem to be upending our whole culture good to a certain extent we want you to be beings not doers and we want you to be lovers not haters and we want you to be receivers more and thinkers a little less and that touches my question of what it's about for my first 65 years I was involved in being very assertive and pushy and overworking and making big achievements in this society and that's why you're sort of not really liking the idea of prosperity because you associate that prosperity with the struggle but you can have prosperity without the struggle it feels to you like you paid too much of a price of not enough freedom you say so receptivity is the challenge for me is to really embrace receptivity rather than assertiveness today's been a good day but here's the way to look at it 
Step one, step two, step three. We haven't talked about this today like this. Step one is contrast causes you to ask. And in that step one, you're doing a whole lot of thinking. You're comparing this to this. You're acknowledging that and that. That's really the thinking mode. Step two, not yours to do. Source is thinking about it. Source is answering it. Source is flowing to it. Step three is you get into the receptive mode so that you can receive the answer to what you've been thinking about. It's the match to your thoughts. It's the positive match to your thoughts. So it sort of all comes together for you, doesn't it? We think that the takeaway for you in what's happened all day here today, and the thing that we want to emphasize with you most right now is just pay a little bit of attention to whether you're thinking or whether you're receiving. But here's the thing. So when you think about conditions, you launch rockets of desire and it sets creation in motion. And then when you care about how you feel and you know about your inner being and you deliberately tune to the frequency of your vortex into your inner being and you accomplish vibrational equivalency because you've quieted your mind and you're thinking nothing and in thinking nothing you're contradicting nothing. So you've got vibrational equivalency because you're thinking nothing. Now that vibrational equivalency begins to mature in your mind. You become the translator of this vibration. And that's when life really gets good. That's really, it really begins to feel fun. And once that begins and you add your thoughts to that, that's when you really begin to feel the hands in the clay, deliberate creation that you came to live. So, it isn't that we want you to stop thinking. It's that we want you to know when to press on the gas and when to let up on the gas. And so step one, you're stepping on the gas and you're stepping on the brakes and you're stepping on the gas. And then when you get into the receptive mode, you're just letting it flow naturally. But once that momentum starts going, then it's time to get on the internet and make that phone call and find those two men in a truck and invite them over and make an appointment and think about that. And you see what we're getting at? It dovetails so beautifully when you let your mind meld with the mind of your inner being. That's co-creation at its best. You as an extension of source energy, but not a puppet on a string extension of source energy, the leader of source energy. Sometimes people will say to us, Abraham, I've been following you for 10 years. And we say, actually, we've been following you. <laughs> You're the one mixing it up. You're the one asking the questions. You're the one summoning us. We're on the heels of the life that you are carving out, you see. Am I waking up from a dream? That's what getting into the receptive mode is. You could say you're waking up from a dream because you're gradually releasing the beliefs that kept it hidden from you. You come in and you're wide awake when you first come into your body. And then you meet others and you want to go back to sleep. And then they start trying to control you a little bit. And then you pick up beliefs that don't serve you, which sort of tamp down your enthusiasm for life. It quiets your interest in things. And then you reach this place where you're asking with stronger fervor and receiving with greater clarity. And it's a reawakening. We've been calling this the time of awakening. It's the time of returning to who you really are. It feels like now you can begin living the life that you intended to live, but you had to get hungry before you knew how much you wanted to eat. And you had to know what you don't want before you could know what you do want. And you had to live with negative emotion before you could know the preciousness of positive emotion. And you had to have some experiences of loneliness and despair because you'd pinched yourself off from your inner being before you decided. I will be in alignment with my inner being no matter what. It's easy in this world of so many things going right for you. It's easy for you to become complacent and stop tuning yourselves. But when things start shaking up a little bit and you start recognizing the things that really matter to you, then you wake up and hopefully align with the energy that creates worlds. Something more on that list? No, you're amazing, and uh, I'm so, so blessed to be here. Thank you very much. We're happy that you can hear. We're happy that you're hearing us. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Very good.